Hello fellow artists, here I'm going to tell you something incredibly important. If you are trying to change a metahuman face with different tools out there that they don't use Maya, okay, this is the important part, they don't use Maya, you have no access to the source file, which is a Maya file. Uh, you cannot basically change a metahuman face. So the reason is in Maya, when you have the source file, you have 12 max influences. It means each vertex takes 12 joints, is affected by 12 joints. And it is huge, it's important. Because if you lose them, if you clamp the max influences to four, your deformation will be bad. It won't be equal. I mean, if you just import the FPX file into another application such as Blender, which basically doesn't support max influences at all. So you cannot change it. You, cannot, you have no chance to uh, do anything inside Blender to correctly and just exported it as is without touching it, you will see a huge difference and a reduction in quality. And you will end it up something like that. As you can see in the area, in the, in the eyelid, you can see the problem. But the problem is all over the face. And I want to show you this face is actually has blend shapes the corrective blend shapes, you may wondering, it, it has actually the corrective blend shape and they're working, they're working fine actually, I, this is a another blend shape for um, edit um, the face for the face look, which I'm going to disable it right now, this is the, the, the point is not this blend, extra blend shape but um, I want to show you that it actually has all the necessary corrective blend shape, but because the max influence has been clamped to five, you will have this kind of problem, no matter what you do. And the problem is all over the face. You will see that here, maybe it's not very annoying, but the quality has reduced. The quality of the face definitely has reduced okay now we have I have another example here this is another character and um, let me actually load the the other one the other as you can see one of them which is this one has been exported from Maya and the blink is equal to the other one there is no difference because it's 12 max influences has been applied to both of them because we have access to the Maya file that's why you should change a metahuman face inside Maya you cannot do it with blender and there is another problem I uh, basically I noticed that when you export the FPX actually you are exporting the max influence but I don't know a way to import when I imported back um, in Maya there's a bug with in FBX imported that max influence clamps to five all the time doesn't matter what what is your max influence it's just always five when you import it so there is no way to import an FBX with max influence up uh, anything other than five and import it back and you have the skin cluster collect correctly so it's a bug so basically you cannot do you cannot change a material space outside of Maya you always need Maya if you are using a tool or it works inside Maya then fine you can change it and you want to make sure that actually you are exporting your blend shape with the correct name. Take a look at the naming scheme in the in Unreal Engine um, because it's different. Look at this. The the naming scheme is doesn't come with 
um, like simple let me show you it is here I mean um, new face um, here uh, let me show you these the names should be look should look like that it start with head L O D zero etc etc it doesn't come with brown because if you clamp these heads you basically lose the blend shape because they are not working with the rig because the rig is looking for these names and if these names are not available and many tools maybe you are using and they are not using these names they, they're just they are they their lack of they have this flaw that they don't change the naming of the blend shapes so your blend shape is not working anymore it's off and it's worse the quality will be worse so and that's about it and I want you to know many of you maybe have problem and trouble when you are dealing with metahuman and you don't know what the problem is because you have been applying some changes and you may assume that's because I have changes but it looks fine but when it's inside Unreal Engine you may have trouble and these could explain your problem and basically if you don't have access to the source file the Maya file you cannot act you cannot change the metahuman face correctly that's it